Hey folks, this is Kalani. We're going to be looking at another easy way for you to pick up some extra gold before Warlords of Draenor releases. So we're on the Isle of Giants, which is north of Pandaria. You can happily fly across. And we're going to be killing the dinosaurs here and stealing their bones. Each bone seems to sell for above two gold across pretty much every server. On some it goes as high as four. And when these drop in stacks of 40 plus from some of the monsters, you can kind of see how this is a really easy way to make money. So the first thing that you need to know is everything on this island is elite. If you weren't here when it first released, it was designed for groups. So you either need to have quite a bit of gear on your character or simply be really overpowered in whatever class you are. So if you are a blood death knight, you should have no troubles really, no matter what gear you're in. If you're a hunter or a warlock, pretty much the same deal. But if your class isn't exactly brilliant at soloing hard creatures, you may have a little bit of difficulty here. The good news is that you can group up, but you would share your bones, so maybe twice as quick to kill things would yield the same bones, yield the same gold, that kind of thing, so it depends on what class you're running with, but a lot of it is relatively easy. I'll be honest, you need to remember this is previous tier stuff, so it's not too difficult. Now, the bones themselves drop from every monster, and the harder the monster, the more bones drops. So, if you're capable of taking down the 300 plus K health monsters, you're going to get rewarded for it. But bear in mind, if it takes you forever to kill things, you're going to be a lot slower on those, on those higher health monsters, meaning you should, probably should just stick to the lower ones. You may have quite a bit of competition, because this isn't a secret, sadly, and a lot of people will be farming these because they're used for a mount, and that's probably what a lot of the people buying them will be using them on. You need to trade in 9,999 of these bones for your Bone White Raptor. This is why people want the bones, and who you'll be selling them to. One thing about that strikes me as interesting, because that mount isn't going anywhere. Neither are these bones, but everybody farming them probably is. So this mount is basically unique. You can't get this mount any other way, and it's always going to be there, meaning collectors coming in either a little late, or who aren't playing right now, or don't have this mount, are still going to want this mount. And if they've got plenty of gold and don't really fancy farming themselves, then they're going to look to buy the bones on the auction house. And if everybody else is enjoying Warlords of Draenor, then you might be able to sneak back here, get a few bones, and then sell them for a pretty penny when everybody else has forgotten about it. So this could be incredibly lucrative going forward into Walls of Draenor simply because of supply and demand. So keep this farm in mind if you ever need gold in Warlords, and hey, you never know, it might be worth something. So that's just a nice little quick and easy way. After about an hour of farming, I ended up with over a stack of these bones, 999 in a stack. So, over 2k in an hour, and that was doing this really slowly, I'll be honest. I ended up with 1.5, give or take, so 3 to 3.5k, depending on what I get from them on the auction house, need. in an hour. I'm pretty happy with that, so relatively easy money. But that's this little video, so if you have any questions or queries, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll try to get back to you. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave, and if you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always, I will see you next time.